so with your atlas created and stored, you can export your decaled asset as well. To do so, open the export panel, and make sure you are in atlas, not in bake mode. You will see a list of all registered atlases decal machine knows about, which includes the default aircraft and example atlases, as well as the example trim sheet, and any atlases or trim sheets you create, and store. Here is the probe normal atlas created in the previous video, and an additional atlas for the probe's info decals. I think it makes sense to separate these, because you'll likely use different shaders for each, but you can always create a combined atlas, if that's what you need. Let's just hit the use atlases button now, and see what happens. On completion, all your atlas decals will be selected, they will have a new gray material, and you will have new collections for every atlas that was used, as long as you had create collections enabled. The aircraft atlas for instance, was used for these two info decals. If you take a look at their UVs, you can see, how instead of filling the entire space, they now only cover their appropriate part in the atlas. It's the same for these panel decals, which use the example atlas. So just as the info decals, these panel decals also perfectly cover only their appropriate parts in the atlas now. These numeric decals here, are from the example trim sheet, and so that trim sheet was used as the atlas for them. The other decals use the probe atlases I've created for this demonstration. Understand that atlasing can be reversed easily, so let's do that now. The order of the atlases in the list, is the order decal machine will check, when attempting to adjust the UVs for every decal. Any decal you have in your scene, could potentially be in multiple atlases. So to force the use of a specific atlas, you can move your chosen atlas to the top. An atlas further down, will then only be used, if a decal is not present in the atlas above. In addition to sorting, you can also just disable atlases, you don't want to use. Keep in mind, that if you want to save your atlas choice, you need to save your blender preferences, they aren't saved in the scene. To save your preferences, you can use the green check mark to the right. So if I now prepare the decals again for export, only the two probe atlases will be used. And with the two atlases, there are now also only two atlas materials, as opposed to the five or so we had earlier. And again, all the decal UVs have been adjusted in such a way to cover the appropriate parts of the atlases. Note that this panel decal with detail, goes across the UV bounds. This is necessary to maintain the same amount of repetitions the decal had, before it was atlased. 
All the panel decals pre-packed in stretch mode fit the UV space perfectly. And they actually wouldn't even have to be pre-packed at all. But as mentioned in the previous video, it's useful to do that if you ever intend to use the Atlas as a trim sheet. And here's the probe atlas for the info decals, it's pretty simple. The atlas materials used to preview the atlas decals are pretty simple as well. Just a gray material with the available texture inputs connected. If you are wondering about the material matching being gone, there is no need for it in a deferred render pipeline. And it wouldn't be feasible anyway, as the aim here is to reduce the amount of materials we need. Now with the decal UVs adjusted to fit the atlases, and the amount of decal materials reduced to the number of atlases, you can now optionally reduce the number of decal objects as well. This is done using the Join Atlas Decals tool which is similar to the basic Join Decals tool, also introduced in version 2 of Decal Machine, with the exception of it not requiring any manual decal selections. Instead, it automatically joins Atlas Decals per Atlas, and optionally per parent object too. The Atlas Decals here are now still separate, and of course parented. So if you join them now, Every decal parent object will then only have a single decal object, per atlas. Here is one. And here is another. Already, this has reduced the number or total decal significantly. But, depending on the asset and how you intend to use it, we can do better. So I'm splitting the joined atlas decals again. And I then disable the per parent option and join again. At this point, there is only a single decal object for the probe's normal atlas. And a second decal object for the probe's other atlas. If you want more control over how your decals are joined, you can also just use the basic decal join and split tools, and you would then select the decals manually before joining. At last, we can do the actual export. You have the option to export the Atlas textures themselves, as well as any objects, including the decals and their parents. The first thing to do is set your base export path. You can then choose to create a subfolder, just for the textures. This folder will be created if it doesn't exist already. And it doesn't have to be a single folder either, it can be multiple folders deep. Just separate them with a slash or backslash, either one will work. You can then choose what kinds of textures to export. Anything that isn't available for your atlas will be grayed out. You can also limit what atlas is exported by making a selection in the 3D view. Selecting anything that isn't an atlas decal will give you a prompt telling you there's nothing to export. Selecting a decal of the probe's normal atlas would then only export that atlas and would also disable the color map accordingly because there is no color map for this atlas. And similarly selecting a decal of the probe's info atlas, only leaves the alpha, color and emission maps available. With nothing selected, all atlases used in the scene are going to be exported. Now, if they are available, you basically always want to export color, emission and normal. These three are the only RGB texture types. All the others are single channel maps, which means, they can be channel packed by decal machine.
so in addition to the previously selected maps, I'm also selecting subset occlusion and white height, as you probably aren't familiar with these. Also the gray height map, to compare it to white height. Then just hit export, and the maps will be copied or created at your chosen export location. This white height map is the usual gray height map, but with gray representing the surface level, shifted to white. This is what Unity's built-in parallax occlusion node expects. But understand, this means all above surface information, is lost. Also, based on my tests, the built-in parallax in Unity, is unfortunately not well suited for decals, but you can try and decide that for yourself. The subset occlusion map is a combination of the subset mask, and inverted ambient occlusion. This is a great map to use for the MAOS opacity slot in Unity's decal shader, which masks out metalness, ambient occlusion and smoothness. It's useful for the same reason in Unreal Engine. You could also build a map like this directly in Unity's shader graph, or Unreal's material editor of course, which would then also allow you to dynamically set the amount of ambient occlusion. For exporting of the main asset and its decals, you could do it using Blender's native export tools, or if you find it more convenient do it directly here in the Atlas export panel. Just as for textures, you can define a subfolder for models too. Then just pick the export format and hit the export button. And just like with Blender's native tools, you can either export a selection, or everything. The path will be set already, so choose a name in any custom export settings, and you are done. The model subfolder was created, and the probe FBX was stored in it. And finally, you could of course also just export textures and models at the same time. To conclude, if you want to restore the original decals again, you can do that by first splitting the joint decals, and then restoring the original materials again. Every single decal will now cover its entire UV space again, as every decal will again use its unique set of textures, instead of an atlas.